Enzymes are very, very important to biology. We will be talking about them throughout the year. We'll talk about different types of enzymes and what they do. Um, so divided up our enzyme videos into two. This first one is about kind of what enzymes are, why we need them, and then the second part we'll look at how enzymes actually work. So let's start with what enzymes are. So enzymes are large, complex proteins. Proteins, very important. We'll talk more about proteins um, very soon. Um, some different examples of enzymes, uh, many of which we'll talk about this year, lactase, catalase, kinase, amylase, DNA polymerase, and hopefully you're noticing something about all of the names of these enzymes. Right? What did you notice? Yes, that A-S-E ending that they all share. Um, so that's one good clue. If you come across something and it has that A-S-E ending, first thing that you should think of is, oh, I wonder if that's an enzyme. And oftentimes it is. So we know enzymes are proteins. What they actually do is they help to speed up chemical reactions. And so enzymes speed up chemical reactions. And we'll focus on what actually is happening in a moment um, in the second video. But for now, what you should know is that most reactions, most chemical reactions, require energy to get started. Um, so that's known as activation energy. And we can talk more about this graph in class. So activation energy, the energy to kind of get everything going. So think about when you're, if you're mowing the lawn, you're starting the lawn mower, um, you have to pull the throttle. That's kind of the activation energy to get the engine going. So what enzymes do with activation energy is they lower activation energy. They decrease it so that there's less energy that's required. And that means the reaction can occur, occur more quickly. So if we look at this red line, this is showing the activation energy that would be necessary for a reaction to occur without an enzyme. Whereas the black line right here is lower. Lower activation energy, the reaction occurs much more quickly. So this change, this difference right here, lowering the activation energy from A to B makes the reaction happen, and that's a wonderful thing. Sometimes you might hear an enzyme referred to as a catalyst. Okay, A catalyst, generally speaking, is any substance that can speed up a chemical, rea chemical reaction by lowering that activation energy like we just talked about. So an enzyme is a type of catalyst. Um, it's a biological catalyst. It's a protein, so it's an organic molecule. So in chemistry, you might do an experiment and you add in a chemical catalyst that makes the reaction happen. Okay? But it's not necessarily an enzyme, because an enzyme is biological. So it's a protein. It's something that's made by living organisms. So let's look now why we even need these enzymes. So basically, enzymes make life possible. Um, there are so many chemical reactions that are going on in our bodies all of the time. Um, it's referred to as our metabolism. But a lot of these chemical reactions, if they just naturally occurred without enzymes, would take way too long because or the ener activation energy that's necessary might be way, way, way too high. So they would never actually happen. We would be dead. Okay? So not a good thing. Enzymes keep us alive. We'll look at a specific example called carbonic anhydrase. So as you might know already, and we will talk about it quite a bit this year, CO2, carbon dioxide, it's produced during cellular respiration, right? And then we exhale carbon dioxide from our lungs. But the carbon dioxide is produced in all of the cells of our body, and then it has to get to our lungs, and the way it does that is through our blood. Problem is, carbon dioxide is not soluble in blood by itself, which means it can't go into solution. So what you need to do is you need to add water. Okay, Check, no problem. If you mix carbon dioxide and water, you get um, carbonic acid. And carbonic acid is soluble in blood, and then it can travel to your lungs, and then carbon dioxide can come out of solution, and you exhale it. Awesome. Except without enzymes, this reaction would take way too long that combining of carbon dioxide and water into carbonic acid. So that would mean you would get a buildup of carbon dioxide in your cells, it wouldn't be able to get into your blood, and that would be bad, you would die. So there's an enzyme that's called carbonic anhydrase, there's our ASE ending, 
it speeds up the reaction 10 million times. So the reaction occurs 10 million times faster than it would without carbonic anhydrase present. This right here is um, a visual of what the enzyme carbonic anhydrase looks like. Um, so we'll talk in the second video about how an enzyme such as carbonic anhydrase actually works.